morning. Well, it's a horrible, drizzly grey day, but there's some really important things I've got to get done before Monday when Nick gets back. One of them is finishing the floor. I left some of the noggins out so we can move the beams, which actually really helped when we were putting up the scaffolding. We could kind of put the ties around the beams and it was a lot more stable. But now we've done that and got the beams up, I can finish the floor, get the boards down properly. Uh, what a miserable, miserable day. Floor's done though. Now I don't want to toot my own horn, but that's some structure I've created. Look how level it is. Oh. I mean it does make it like super, super dark in here. In case anyone's wondering and I've seen it on the comments, there's a pretty good reason I'm not camping down here in the basement. Yeah, it's not that waterproof. It's where all the rain from all the, you know, stuff above comes. I'm not too worried about the beams getting wet. Obviously, the floorboards are going to be replaced anyway. But, yeah, it's still just flooding with water. But hopefully, it's not going to be that long until that side is waterproofed anyway. Okay, well they're the right level, like, apart now. So all that's left to do with them is check the level up and down, which you can do later tonight once it gets a bit dim with the laser. Make sure they line up together, and more importantly, as we learned from the last floor, line up with the pockets in the wall, which is what I'm going to clear out now. <sighs> you know, we've got so many of these floors to do. After every one, and me and Nick are spending a little bit of time just kind of like... Seeing what we can fine tune, seeing what went wrong, seeing what went right, seeing where we struggled and what we can change. Because we're going to be doing this process over and over and over again. Another, 
Nah. <laughs> don't even want to think about how many times you've got to do it, but it's, it's like a lot of times. So the more we get into a rhythm, the better it will be. And by the end, oh, we'll be pros at Chateau Floors by the end of this. You know, it's going to be a sad, sad day when I can't use a leaf blower inside. Very sad. One side done. One year, one big eight meter circle. Eight meters is quite a lot, actually. So, look, we've been a bit back and forth with the location. And it's a mix between one, what's like clear and relatively level with the least amount of work so I can get it on site. And two, like, you know, do I want to be deep in the woodland, alone, right away from the chateau? Or do I want to be up by the chateau? Is it a bit easier? Like, is it make me feel better? Is it, I don't know. It's a whole thing, but with the yurt, we can move it. So, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking here, I've been working away the last few days, clearing it. So it's nice and clear. Nick's got loads of well, quite dead trees to take out first. Sorry, Nick, but you know, job security, isn't it? I really do think this is going to be a nice spot, you know, like I didn't really want it too visible and close to the chateau because I didn't want to ruin it, but you know, it's a whole part of the renovation. It's going to look a bit in between for a while. It's going to look a bit like a building site and you know, it's never going to be perfect all the time. And I think, I don't know, yeah, it looks pretty cool, you know, yeah. 
so excited. The tent's fine, the tent's fine, but this, this will be good. So, I'll see you tomorrow when Nick's back with Cameron. We're gonna start this circle, start the prep for it. He's gonna level it all out. <sighs> There's loads going on again. It's a busy, busy week. So I'll see you tomorrow.